Let's open up and tour the all new 2023 Grand Design Solitude, the ST373FB. Hello and good afternoon everybody. This is Chris coming at you from the beautiful Great Escapes RV Supercenter with another sweet tour with you guys today. We're gonna check out this luxury fifth wheel. We're gonna walk around the outside and explain some of the features. Then we're gonna go on the inside with the unit all closed up and show you how practical would it be if you had to be parked at a campground or maybe even on the side of the road to maybe catch some Z's, use the restroom, or maybe even cook a little meal. How easily accessible is this RV with the unit closed up? Then we're gonna take, open it up together and give you a final overlook at this beautiful 2023 Grand Design Solitude. I appreciate y'all sticking with us today and checking out this RV tour. Let's rock and roll. All right, I really love these builds. Four Seasons Camper, just really loaded out. A lot of really cool features on here. I'm really excited to do this particular tour. You've got a fully molded fiberglass front cap on here that is actually wrapped around that comes in extremely handy as far as long-term potential leaks and stuff that comes in really handy. It is a painted fiberglass front cap as well. You have the More Ride rubber pin box on the front of here that definitely gives you an, a good amount of play for the forwards and backwards whenever you're uh, riding on the highway. It helps with road chucking. You come down here, you're gonna see that there's a little button right here that helps turn on and off your front running lights. You can take and open this up right here. You're gonna have a good amount of storage up underneath this compartment. Also the ability if you get, if you did want to, you guys could add in a generator. They do sell and install those as well. You've got hydraulic level up by Lippert components uh, auto leveling system. It's got a drop frame, aluminum substructure, heated and enclosed underbelly. It's gonna have uh, four slides all together. You've got two in the rear and then two up in the front for your, uh, your bedroom and kitchen slides. We open up this compartment right here. You're gonna have dual 30 pound propane tanks which you fill upon your purchase. Open up this compartment storage. This is some of the larger compartment storage that I've ever seen. Inch and a quarter thick slam latch uh, insulated baggage doors with a magnetic catch. Look at the pass-through storage on this RV. Holy moly, you guys can see the aluminum framing on this. You have a built-in battery disconnect. You're pre-wired as well for the tire link, tire pressure monitoring sensors. You got a really nice setup right here with all the components for your InterVac system. This is an onboard vacuum system. Really cool, you can see right here, you can hook it up to right here and be able to vacuum out the inside as well as be able to use it on the inside as well of the RV. On, off, and motion sensing LED lights. You've got cable TV and satellite outputs, a 110 power port as well. This also comes with a spray port. You guys can take and hook up that outside shower, a hose, and be able to rinse yourself off. Another 110 power port here. You've got dual span awnings on here as well by Solera. We've got one in the front and then one on that slide out as well. Frameless glass windows. What an awesome RV. As you can see, your skirting is actually wrapped around the bottom of it to make it more aesthetically pleasing. I'm loving this white two-tone exterior on here. What an upgrade on this, guys. Cooper H-rated tires. You got 17.5 aluminum rims. You got filled with nitrogen. Cree 3000 suspension system. We got the Dexter axles, the 7Ks. You got the wet bolt fasteners as well. Wow, really, really awesome. Uh, those tires are actually filled with nitrogen as well. Coming back here, sweet setup with the Rockford Fosgate marine grade sound system. This puppy will thump. As you can see, the awning has the built-in LED lights as well. So if you guys are entertaining friends and family at night, you got a full receiver on the back, two inch with the wiring plug. So if you guys wanted to hook up maybe a little uh, trailer or pull something really light, it's got about a 2000 pound capacity. Upgraded LED lights on the top, bottom, and on the sides. You're pre-wired for the Furion backup camera. You got a full access ladder to gain access to your fully walkable roof. That is a, uh, it's pretty high right there, but I think I could probably make it. Let's see if I can crawl up onto here without uh, hurting myself. All right, climb up here. Let's get on the roof. Oh, this is sweet. You got a TPO roof. This is thermal polyolefin. 
You also have three Coleman Mach 15K AC units, and one of them actually has a built-in heat strip. You got a WineGuard Air 360 omnidirectional antenna on the top. It makes it so much easier to be able to find your channels. You got dual setup as well with the a ventilation system. Also has the rain sensor. So if you guys uh, have this hooked up to power or 12 volt and it starts to rain, that thing will automatically close, preventing water from getting into your RV. You are solar prepped as well. What a cool RV. Let's go check this out. Coming down here a little bit further. And I didn't fall. All right. This is gonna be a 50 amp service. This is the opposite side of the RV. As you can see, you got another little flap right here as far as ventilation goes. Um, you got an 18 cubic foot residential style refrigerator on the inside. I can't wait to show you that. Uh, you got a black tank uh, flush valve right here. 35,000 BTU furnace. You got a 12 gallon hot water uh, tank. More slam latch baggage doors. This is the opposite end of your convenience center. You got a power cord reel right there because that's a 50 amp service uh, cord. So that thing is a little bit heavy. That makes it so much easier as far as rolling it up and out of the way. As you can see here, tap this light. Everything is all properly labeled and easily located as far as winterizing, power tank fill, dry camping, sanitizing. Here's your outside shower, hot and cold settings, cable TV and satellite inputs, your water pump, You've got um, uh, for potable water, so if you guys are doing any kind of dry camping, this is sweet. Whole house water filtration system with the filter. You got your dump valves down here for your black and gray tanks. And everything all conveniently locates or runs up through here and plugs in. What's really cool about Grand Design too is they actually hook up a 110 power port inside the insulated baggage compartment door. So if you are in sub-zero or if you guys are in freezing temperatures, and you guys don't want your hose to freeze, you guys can get that heated hose, plug it in, and keep this uh, nice and heated. I really like that quite a bit. Coming around here a little bit further, you're gonna see that this is the control center for your um, six point auto leveling system. And the opposite end of your 30 pound propane tank, which they fill upon your purchase. What a cool RV, let's open it up and check it out. So, of course, I love doing RV tours. We have some of the top selling brands around here, um, including, you know, Grand Design, Jayco, uh, Heartland, Forest River, all those kind of things. And we love to just basically walk through these things and show them to you. They have key to like locks. Of course, this does have a screen door as well. we'll go ahead and take magnetic catch. This actually used to be a plastic catch, so that's a good up upgrade right there. Um, you've got the uh, thin shade ready as well for additional privacy. Moride entry step upgrade. Guys, this is phenomenal. I talk about it in many of my other RV videos. I absolutely love it. It's got a built-in strut assist. And what I mean by that, is you can pretty much open this up with one pinky. It stays in place. That strut assist really makes it convenient. It's drilled and tapped. So if you guys wanted to add an additional handlebar accessory, maybe you're elderly, maybe you got bad knees, maybe you just want confidence and peace of mind being able to enter and exit, you guys can do that. Let's go ahead and go inside. Give ourselves a first look. It's a busy day today. We got RVs coming and going. Customers all over, we're rocking out some video tours. So first look, as you can see, the rear portion of the living area is pretty much inaccessible. However, you do have a uh, Norcold 18 cubic foot uh, refrigerator that comes in really handy that you do have easy access to. And this actually has a bath and a half. So what cooler uh, than be able to entertain friends and family and not have to have them go and pass through your bedroom to use the restroom you can use this half bath. Got a nice porcelain toilet in here. Really cool. Hardwood cabinetry. You've got um, updated faucets as well. It's really nice, all the black. Medicine cabinet. There's that ventilation system as well. Really cool, it's got the built-in rain sensor. Close this up. Let's go ahead and turn on some of these buttons. Now, one thing that I really like that Grand Design is doing is they give you the option, of course, with the Lippert Components touchscreen, which is really nice. I, I like it. It's good. It works really well. However, some people 
you have an issue as far as the buttons, it's hard to touch them, you're holding it down, sometimes it wants to let off, that kind of stuff. It can be a little cumbersome not to worry. They still give you the regular push button version of it. So that's pretty sweet. All up here, you got all of your interior lightings as far as back lightings, overhead lightings, this stuff as well. You've got your water heater, ready, whether you're running off of gas or electric, your water pump, fresh tank heater, gray and black, 12 volts, porch light, awning light. You can still check on your convenience center, be able to check your fluid levels as well. Slide one, slide two, and slide three. Um, slide one is actually a dual slide for the kitchen area, so it'll actually operate two of the four slides. So that's why you have three buttons, front and rear awning extension and retraction. I really like how they're really categorizing this up into this area right now, so you guys can be able to see you've got your um, little fuse panels right here, and then you've got your actual breaker panels right below it. A lot of times this used to not be here. It used to be, you know, up under some stairs or kind of hidden away, that kind of stuff. Really cool as well. Look up under here, kick that up. That's that onboard vacuuming system. Really cool. Additional storage inside here. What a cool RV. Let's go ahead and open it up. So this first slide, we're gonna go ahead and press out. This is the rear slide section right here. And you're gonna see that the slides at the same time, one will start and then the other slide starts to come out. Left side. There you go. See the right side. Really cool. Seeing that open up, that's pretty sweet. All right. And then we look up here, this is our bedroom area. As you can see, you could still jump in here to be able to, uh, to catch some Z's if you did need to on the side of the road. We're gonna go ahead and press this out. Um, the first slides behind me, those are actually hydraulic. This slide right here is a Schwintec slide system. And then there's an additional slide up in the front um, for the vanity portion that will come out. And that is also a Schwintec uh, slide system. <clears throat> As that's going out, you're gonna look right here, you can download the application on your phone and be able to operate pretty much all of these buttons as well from the convenience of your phone, as well as here on this control panel, you guys can do that as well. Um, you've got your thermostats for your front and rear. You also have your max air vent fan, which I was talking about with that built-in rain sensor. Coming up into here, you've got more storage and a really nice king size bed upgrade. I like this quite a bit. You can see right here, you've got 12 volt and USB power sources. You've got tap lights, you got MCD blackout roller shades as well. Really sweet. Open this up, more storage compartments. You got a nice little section right here if you're putting your shoes on in the morning. You guys can be able to uh, have a place to sit down. Close this, TCL. Flat screen TV with the built-in Roku setting. So your Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, all that stuff is accessible to be able to use. Want some privacy, pull out that blackout shade. Of course, frameless glass windows. So you guys can be able to have this opened up. And if it rains, it's not gonna get inside. Uh, one tip, if you're in the process of opening it and it doesn't wanna open up, just turn it a little bit and walk away. A lot of times these units have been closed. They're in through the heat and everything. And so that, um, that gasket usually wants to stick. If you torque it down too much, you have the risk of potentially breaking the glass. So definitely keep that in mind. Here's the opposite, uh, your third AC unit. We go ahead and take and open this up. It's a hideaway pocket door. I like that barn style, that's pretty sweet. Another USB and 110 port right there as well. Another really cool uh, porcelain toilet. And I just realized we didn't open up this vanity slide. So let's go ahead and open that up too. <clears throat> Open up this vanity slide, slide three out. All right. Three out, like so. All right, now that's opened up. We come back here, really nice amount of room to move in here. Go ahead and turn on these lights, this backlighting. His and hers vanity, really nice, nice large mirror. You got LED backlighting as well. Nice porcelain toilet in here. Guys, a one piece frontline residential style walk-in shower, no seams. So that comes in really handy as far as not having any kind of leaks. <clears throat> they have an updated shower sprayer as well. So you have the overhead, you have the handheld, and then you have the where the water can shoot you right in the belly. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> 
And then really cool, walking into this bedroom, I'm sorry, walking into this closet, you have a pre-setup for washer and dryer. It's really cool. And plenty of room in here to be able to put all your storage items and all your clothes and knickknacks and stuff. Very sweet. We'll close this like so. And then right here, open this up. More storage, another drawer, stainless steel ball bearing drawer glides. What a cool RV. Coming down here a little bit further, as you guys are gonna go ahead and see, you have solid surface countertops. You've got another section right here to be able to put your shoes. If you guys are getting dressed in the morning, be able to hang a jacket right there. Really nice table and chairs with an additional leaf extension for more friends and family. More wide panoramic windows, be able to have plenty of viewing space. So if you guys are parked at a nice, you know, area that has a nice overlook. Updated LED lighting. You got that overhead light for the uh, Island Center, really nice. Sweet refrigerator, plenty of room in there. Opening here right now, you see they got a nice uh, pantry in here. I like how they don't secure the shelves. See if you guys wanted to adjust it depending on your camping lifestyle with more drawers. Insignia, four burner residential style cooktop that comes in really handy and it's a full size oven. So you guys will be able to cook you a nice turkey in there, some pizzas, chocolate chip cookies. Of course, the solid surface countertops, you got a two-piece stainless steel sink insert, chef-style faucet, more drawers, more cabinets and storage space. You got more 110 power ports as well. I love this. Thomas Payne Collection, upgraded theater-style seating. It has a built-in convenience light. So if you guys are walking around at night or if you guys just want to set the mood, you guys could do that. Power open, power close. You've got... Uh, built-in heat, built-in massage, and a USB charging port. Open this up, more section to be able to put your uh, remotes. Both sides do that. Nice couch, it'll fold out into a bed to sleep additional friends and family. More overhead cabinetry storage, really sweet. Check this out, boom. In a flame, 5,000 BTU fireplace. I like this quite a bit too because in the summertime, you guys can still have the look of the flame, but it doesn't have to put the heat out. So if you guys want to set the mood, you guys can still be able to do that. Pretty sweet. Carbon monoxide, smoke detector, fire extinguishers, emergency exits, the typical safety features an RV needs to have. Very cool. Now, this is always something that's interesting for me is finding the button for the TV. <laughs> so we go ahead and look around for a minute. It's going to take just a second. Where's the button for the TV? It's got a hideaway TV. Oh, it's right here. So right here, Rockford Fosgate, sound system, AM, FM, Bluetooth. That's pretty sweet. You guys can be able to have multi-zone selection as well. So you guys can have on the inside or the outside, USB port, and um, then uh, power TV lift up and down. Press this, raises up. Nice, large flat screen TV. Imagine watching the football games on the weekend on that Rockford Fosgate sound system, entertaining the friends and family. It's a sweet, and it's got the Roku setting. So, like I said earlier, Amazon, Hulu Prime, that stuff's all ready to go. What a beautiful RV, guys. This is really cool. I really like this. This has got a good amount of room to move around. Plenty of space to be able to still cook. Yet entertain friends and family. You've got your uh, air ducts and stuff in the bottom for your heating are actually mounted on the side. So you don't have to worry about any kind of dust or debris getting into the bottom of the vents. They're all mounted on the side. You got another little storage nook up underneath the stairs section right there for your vacuuming system. This is pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and extend our awning. And while we're doing that, of course, all new and used purchases at Great Escapes include a training class let me get that angle right there include a training class as well as a free night stay on their private campground so what cooler than uh what is cooler than what you purchase an rv and the day you come to pick it up it's actually at the campground ready to go all fired up you get your training class you have any issues or anything you're still here so let's go ahead and open up this one too it's a little bit of a windy day so i might not open them completely but just give you enough of a of an idea to see what they look like yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hold it right there just because it's too close to that other RV. But as you can see, 
This is a beautiful luxury fifth wheel, guys. This thing is loaded out with all kinds of really nice goodies. Really cool. Ladies and gents, this is Chris with Arcadia Everything Channel here doing a nice RV tour at Great Escapes RV Supercenter. Guys, if you did like this RV, if you have any questions about it, leave us a question in the comment section below. We'd love to help you out. Maybe there's an RV that you would want to tour on. Just go ahead and put it in the comment section below and I'd love to add it to my list. Thank you all so much for your time, your patience, and the opportunity to do business together. I ask that you please like, subscribe, comment, and share. We hope to see you soon. Happy camping.